So I thought I would show you guys something about running basic offense. Somebody asked me like, how do I improve my offense in the game? And like, what am I supposed to do on offense? You don't need a lot of fancy options for your offense to be good. You just need a few strong options that you can rotate between. With Giovanna, I think she's one of the best characters to show this because if you've ever fought against her, her offense is very straightforward in what she's trying to do, but it's still really hard to deal with. The most basic thing about her offense and what sets all of the rest of her offense up is close slash. One, dash cancelable. Two, it's jump cancelable. And three, you can do a low after. This button alone sets you up for so much offense. So let's just say my opponent is blocking, right? The most basic string is close slash, 2S, 5H, flippy do. And just off of this string, you can take this and create an entire pressure sequence that is really hard to deal with from whether someone is brand new or if they're super experienced. Close slash 2S, right? This is a low right here. Close slash dash throw. Or even just close slash walk up throw, right? But let's say this Nagori Yuki player starts to try to deal with that throw. So he's like, I'm not trying to get thrown anymore. I'm gonna break the throw after this. Okay, we just go back to the first string we did. So we've already got two good options. Let's say that my opponent starts blocking. And if they block out this whole sequence, it pushes me away, right? So let's say I want to keep up the pressure. I drill in and now I'm plus again, right? I'm plus after this drill or I do the flip. I'm plus again. So I get the challenge again here. Well, let's say he knows how to deal with that and he starts doing 6P, right? And it covers both of these options. Well, there's a few ways to deal with this. One, we can just Delay that, and we get a full combo. That seems pretty good to me. Second, my timing's a little off. There we go. You can just walk back and hit a button. Or I think you can just do sweep right away. Yeah. Now let's say my opponent is aware of this, and they know the timing I'm staggering things. Why don't I just do this? And then flip off that, or do this, into this, into this, into drill here, and then drill again, and then drill again, and then dash up for the throw. Or I do close slash, and I do double overhead off this. Or I just go for the heavy, and then I go for pressure after. All of a sudden, this, this close slash, which was literally just this string, I have like six options off of it, and all of them are good. To be fair, the drills are reactable. I want you to fight a Giovanna player who just does this, and delays that, and tell me you're reacting to the drill and the flip kick every time. Because boy, I'll tell you what, it hits everybody. Or if you're trying to 6P, The sweeping kick is punishable by 5P from Chip. Although you are correct that you can punish it if you're close enough, there is an issue with just, I will sit here and wait for the special move, and then if she doesn't do it, then I'm gonna 5P, right? And if you fought a good Geo player, you're probably familiar with it. So you're saying, oh, I just wait for this and then punish this move, right? No problem. But what happens when you do it like this? And it just doesn't reach. You're like, oh, the def it's so easy to deal with. I just wait for the special moves. I'm just waiting for the special moves, and I'm going to hit 5P when he does the thing. And then you are at 60% risk, and if you get hit, you explode. This offense is still very good, even if that's what your plan of attack is. Because with what you're trying to do, she has great responses. That's what makes this offense so good. It's what makes Soul's offense so good. So it makes any hard hitting character's offense really difficult. I mean, even a character like Chip, Chip's offense, a lot of it is reactable and there's things that you can do to basically all of it. The point is that it's very difficult to, to defend against him, mostly because he has so much shit he can do. So even if you're like, I'm just gonna defend and do this and then do that, then the Chip player slightly delays their pressure or they run up and stagger or they run up and do throw and you're just like, oh, well, that's what's important to understand. Even if you have a plan of attack, it does not make that offense weak. Listen. I have massive issues with Geo's offense when they FD. You're saying that you FD you. If they're FDing, they're probably not challenging. So if you see them FDing, just do close slash walk up, close slash or close slash into drill, gaining space on them. Or if they're trying to FD, air dash at them and then you're close and then just let them waste their meter FDing you. It's also not the end of the world if you lose the immediate pressure and then you just get to reset, you know, as long as you still have the corner. It's not that bad.